Hello everyone, welcome to Embracing Mattress. Uh, this is going to be the weekly love reading for the sign of Capricorn. I hope everyone's doing well. Thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed. Hit the notification bell. Uh, anyone that's purchased the reading, thank you so much. Anyone that's donated to the channel, thank you so much. Um, the reading here will uh, be about you, the person you're thinking of, or your cross watcher. If you are a cross watcher and you just stumbled across this video and do not have Capricorn in your chart or anywhere around you, Spirit probably has a message for you as well. So just hang out. Okay, so take what resonates, leave what does not, and know that the energy could be masculine or feminine. Okay, so right off the gate, we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture, right? Some of you may want to go towards someone from your past. It says reconciliation, if you haven't already. Someone from your past is returning to your life. You need to keep an open mind about this. This person may be a soulmate, okay? Um, it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, meaning they may not be the type of person that you usually see yourself rocking with long term. But Spirit is saying, hey, you know what? Keep an open mind. Do what you need to do. Um, just see where this goes, right? So you have the, the communion, excuse me, the community social companionship card. Spirit of the elephant, hanging out, having fun, doing something of that nature. Someone could have been um, interacting with others uh, in a social setting and got some bad news with this prophecy card. Um, you know, seen something they didn't like, what have you. Uh, but someone also wants to give someone some sort of gift and it's going to happen in the summertime. It says luck and abundance. So some bad news came while someone was out and about. Um, some sort of community, meaning, meaning people could be talking, could be gossiping about it, could be, you know, some, some sort of energy of that nature. But there's some sort of bad news that uh, they were speaking of. But someone here is going to be getting some sort of luck and abundance in the summertime with the spirit of the clover. Now, you also have the coffin cart, meaning something is coming to an end. Uh, maybe some of you are ending a relationship to go towards another one. That's for some. And for some of you, the reconciliation that you're, you're going towards and you're supposed to keep an open mind about is going to be short term. Again, here's with the gift. Someone wants to give someone a gift. We have gift two times out here on the board. Okay, now the coffin, okay, as well. If something is not ending with this reconciliation, the coffin card could be you keeping an open mind, changing your perception, changing your mindset, okay, to, to sit down and work with the other person and figure out what you need to do with the relationship this time. That's for some. I see someone moving out of hard times, someone moving towards... Uh, a better life, a better way, a better thought process, a better person, someone feeling, okay, like this could be you for the other collective, okay? Someone is moving away from this person who is a pregnant female. If there's if there's anybody in this union that has someone pregnant or someone that just ha uh, has a child with someone, they're moving away from this person. So some of you are moving towards, some of you are moving away. And someone wants to speak a truth here with the Queen of Swords card about why they're ending the situation, why they need to get out of it, why this is done for them. Again, a truth needs to be told here. Someone wants to speak a truth about whatever they're feeling about this ending. Of course, with an ending comes a new beginning, right? Definitely. With an ending comes a new beginning. Uh, with the swords cards here, this is swords. You have three swords cards. Definitely. Movement, truth. Someone may uh, be messing with someone of an, uh, with Aquarius in their chart. Okay. The queen of swords could be a Virgo or Libra person. And the ace of swords could be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Take it how it resonates. May not be sun sign, may be something in their sign. Spirit is bringing me back to this six of swords. 
This could be mental healing as well. I need to say that for someone. Progression through mental healing. Feeling more connected to spirit and getting guidance within. Assimilating life lessons. Absolutely. This queen of swords, like I said, seeker of truth, does not tolerate fools. Very intellectual, incisive. Tells it how it is, this person. Capable of making it to the top. Prefers intelligence. Overall. Sudden breakthroughs. Clarity of thought. New ways of communication. The truth revealed. Okay? These are what my sword cards. I just wanted to, to uh, zero back there because spirit was bringing me back there, y'all. Somebody needs to know that there's some truth here that needs to be told. And it could be that it hasn't been, you know, someone's someone's trying to avoid it. That That's what I was trying to say. Stuttering my ass off. Someone's trying to avoid tell, telling someone the truth. Someone does not want to tell someone something. And they don't want to tell them so much that they've been medicating themselves trying to figure out how to do it. Alcohol, drugs, sex, porn, whatever it is that they needed to do. Because they're in, in a state of non-action. They're not moving because they don't know how. This person could have been an escapist before. Meaning you ask them 15 questions and they're running from you because they don't want to answer it. And they go into self-indulgent things, you know, sex, porn, alcohol, this shit, okay? This person may be doing this to avoid answering these questions. I'm hearing from spirit, right? With this queen of pentacles card, this person could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn or this could be you, okay? Practical, home-loving, creative, hardworking, likes to help others, but also in, in, encourages others to help themselves, a doer rather than a listener, prefers to use their own methods, etc. Okay, this person could be moving towards you. But on the other end, like I said, I also see this card a little different than some readers. And to me, this is a married wife, a, a pregnant wife, pregnant girlfriend, mistress, etc. And this person could be the person that's holding someone down and they could be moving towards them or away from them. Okay, just keep it, keep it how it resonates. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to the death card, somebody could have Scorpio in their chart as well, okay? I'm saying Scorpio, <clears throat> excuse me. Somebody doesn't want me to talk because as y'all can hear, yeah, they don't like me saying these things. My voice is going down. Relationship is ending, a new or a new phase is beginning. So you guys want to take it, either a reconciliation or something new. You're either walking away from someone or starting something and trying to get it in a new perspective. You may be holding on to a relationship that you need to release for some of you. You may be resisting change and it, and it may be the time to walk away from it. Let that shit go. There may be deep pain that you are experiencing. Okay. You can be, um, yeah. I'm seeing pregnancy. There could be some sort of change where there's pregnancy involved. Absolutely. I'm seeing this again. Um, if you're a single Capricorn, you may need to get rid of old beliefs and ways of thinking that no longer serve you. Okay. This means to me that the situation is ending and a new beginning is about to start. So you guys, you know, this is the only major arcana out here. You're supposed to embrace the, 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 the uh, transformation that's happening with you. Because it means that the universe is trying to pull you into a different way and into a different life, into a different love. All right, let's get to these cards out here. You have fledging. Number one. Let me get the book. I'm sorry, guys. I need my book. Oh, boy. All right. Fledging. Number one. The message is as follows. This is a time for you to remember that you cannot know things until you experience them. Being in this evolving state means you may stumble a bit. Don't expect yourself to be perfect. Now is the time for being gentle with yourself as you step into the destiny to become the beautiful person you are meant to be. When, when this card appears, it is a sign of new growth and wonderful new opportunities. Step forward with curiosity and a willingness to learn and discover. Look. 
Spirit said to keep an open mind. Go forward. You also have the risk card. 31. Rather than worry about how things will turn out, why not take that leap of faith? No matter what happens, something important will be experienced. This is a sign that you can prove something to yourself. And when you accomplish it, you will be proud that you did. Another meaning here is to ask yourself about your next action. Is it worth the risk that you're taking? If the answer is no, then don't do it. If yes, okay, I will give you wings to fly and will catch you if you fall. This is from spirit. This is a sim this symbol always brings a gentle warning. Your risk shouldn't be motivated by boredom. This is a symbol of consequences as well as courage. So in other words, take a leap of faith, but know that if you're not doing the right thing for the right reasons, there will be a, uh, some sort of consequence. But Spirit is saying, if you leap, they have you. They have your back. You also have the rigid card. Funny thing, we have a 30 and a 31. So this is like synchronicities here, meaning one thing happens before the other. So you're supposed to have some sort of rigid nature about you. And then you're taking a risk. So with this card, is now is the time to become more flexible and to drop your rigid expectations of yourself and especially others. Don't be afraid to drop your guard a little too. If you're willing to let others in, you will see a benefit in these connections. Another meaning here is that you recognize the wall that others may have put up. Don't take it personally. If they won't let you in, this is their way of coping and it has little to do with you. Now, there could be someone around you Okay, that's guarded. This person that's making no, non-action, this person that could be an escapist, doesn't want to talk to you, doesn't want to let you in too much because of all the things that they've went through. Spirit is telling you to have patience with that person. Okay? I see reconciliations here for some. I see endings here from some. I see people taking leaps of faith. I see people trying to move away from killing their pain and numbing themselves and trying to make some movement here. All right, Capricorn, this has been your message for the week. If anyone needs a personal reading, please let me know. Send a love and light to all. You guys take care.